Narcissus is here and welcome to a new video. This time I'll solve the last part 3 of the mathematical exam of Mombuka Akshu 2016. Functions. So let's do it. Let a be a number with a different to 0, minus 1 less than a less than 1, and b an arbitrary real number. Let f of x equal to ax plus b. Moreover, let f1 of x equal to f of x. And fn of x is equal to f of fn minus 1 of x for n equal to 2, 3, 4, and so on. Fill in the blanks with the answer to the following questions. Question 1. Express fn of x for n equal to 1, 2, 3, and so on in terms of a, b, x, and n. So in order to solve this problem, we use induction. For f1 of x is the same function, ax plus b. For n equal to 2 is f of f of x. Replacing and evaluating, we get finally this. For n equal to 3 is f of f2 of x. We do the same process, replacing and evaluating and get finally this. As we see, there is a pattern. For n equal to 1, the greatest order for a is 1. For n equal to 2, the greatest order for a is 2. And for n equal to 3, the greatest order for a is 3. Corresponding to the lineal term. And the independent term, the order of a is decreasing by 1 until it reaches 0. So for fn of x, we get this expression. So that's our function. Now we simplify fn of x. The independent term has a common factor which is b. And factorized we get a sum known as a notable quotient, which is the following. Then we replace this division in the function and we get finally this answer. a to the n x plus a to the n minus 1 over a minus 1 b. Next question. Express fn of x minus fn minus 1 of x over a to the n for n equal to 2, 3, 4 and so on in terms of a, b, x and n. From the previous problem we found fn of x and then we can find fn minus 1 of x. The problem asks for fn of x minus fn minus 1 of x over a to the n, then we replace this expression. Here is a minus, so we change the sign of these terms. Now we group lineal terms and independent terms and separate the fractions. Here we see that we can simplify a to the n minus 1 and here we cancel out 1 and minus 1. And we got this expression. Now we factorize here and simplify n to the n minus 1 and a minus 1. And we got finally this expression, a minus 1x plus b over a. Next question. Consider the curve y equal to fn of x minus f n minus 1 of x over a to the n. For n equal to 2, 3, 4 and so on. And the line y equal to ax plus b. Find the intersection point q, xn, yn of the curve and the line above. And express xn, yn in terms of a, b and n. So we have got already this function from the previous problem, which is a minus 1x plus b over a. And as the problem says, it intersects with this function. And the only thing we need to do is equalize both functions and find xn. Here we multiply all terms by a. Now we group similar terms and factorize by common factor and find x of n, which is a minus 1 over a minus 1 minus a squared b. We replace in this function factorize the common factor b, here we multiply and we sum this fraction. We see that a squared minus 1 will cancel out and finally we get this expression minus b over a minus 1 minus a squared. And that's the answer for question 3. Next question. Calculate the limit n to the infinity of fn of x and express it in terms of a, b and x. So we already know fn of x from the problem 1. Then we apply the limit for n to the infinity and if we realize a is between minus 1 and 1, so a to the n for n reaching the infinity, this limit is 0. Then we replace here and cancel out the a to the n. And finally we get minus b over a minus 1. And that's all for the mathematics exam. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel to get the newest videos. Visit my Facebook page or be sensitive and email me for another class if you want, it could be in English or Spanish. See you next video.